Hey what's up guys and welcome to part 3 of the yellow light of death fix tutorial. Now we have refloated the board and now it's time to reassemble the PlayStation 3. But before we do that we have to apply thermal grease onto the CPU and GPU. You can use any thermal grease you want to, but I recommend taking a good one because you only do this once. I can recommend Arctic Silver 5 which I also use very often, but right now I'm using a special mix which I got from a friend. Ok, then now let's start to apply a thin layer onto the chips. Don't put too much on it, a thin layer is enough because the thermal compound only fills all those microscopic imperfections on the heatsink and on the chip and you can use your finger to spread the paste or you can use a card, for instance a member card, to spread it. But just be sure only to apply a thin layer. When you have applied the thermal grease, then you should take a look at the heatsink. If you have not done this before, then it's full of old thermal grease. Now you should get rid of that. So take a tissue or a pad with some high percentage alcohol like isopropanol and clean both heatsinks. Make sure that there is no thermal grease left. Ok, now when you have cleaned them, they should look like this, shiny and bright. And now you can easily reassemble your PlayStation 3 as shown in the video. Good luck guys!
guys, the PlayStation 3 is now reassembled and ready to start. Let's see if it works. Oh yeah, it's back alive. It just says it needs to check the data because it did shut off during playing a game where it overheated, but except of this, it fucking works again. As I said, this may not be a permanent fix, but it's much cheaper than reballing. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, just feel free to ask. And as always guys, thanks for watching and I hope to see you again in my next videos. Bye bye!